What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm talking Leave No Trice. Yes, this is one of those independent indie films that you guys know I love to watch and I'm always curious to watch them and Leave No Trace was suspiciously surprising to me because to be honest I had no idea what this film was going to be about. I knew Ben Foster was in it. I'm a big fan of his especially after Hell or High Water. He Leave No Trace is a really good film. I probably will never watch it again, but it's one of those independent films that doesn't grasp you in an emotional way, but makes you think about just life in its simplistic ways. Those are the kind of indie films that I really get attached to. You know, this film is a lot about humanity and the story it tells is just, it's so simple. It's sweet, it's simple, and those are sometimes the best films to watch because it's just a mellow film. Nothing huge happens in this film. It's quiet, it's calm, and it's collective. And again, it's one of those films that once it ends, you're like, oh, that was a sweet little film. But the more you think about it, again, it, it goes into the, the film dives into symbolisms of humanity, what humanity means. And it's the small things in life that really do bring out what people are. And it brings certain things about the human aspect that really opened my mind to. Maybe that's just me, but I do think this film does open up different avenues for other people in watching this film. And I think this film will hit others in other ways. Some people might find this film boring and some people might love this film for the story it's telling. Again, it's a simple symbolism, humanity telling story. And that's what Leave No Trace is. Because the story is just about a father and a daughter living in an isolated area in a park. And once the authorities find out where they are, it really turns their life upside down. Because this is how they've been living for years. Homeless, in the forest, providing for each other. And you think that's kind of weird, but... The film really revolves and under, it makes you understand why. And that was the one thing I was really going into this film. Like, I was sitting there, I was like, why are they living like this? And I was hoping that they would give actual th reasons for it. And I finally, and once you finally learn what's going on with these characters, you, you really learn to believe what is happening. And again, it's it's nothing huge is going to happen in this film. No big twist is going to happen. And I will say this, I'm very happy that this film was not predictable. There was a couple routes where I'm like, oh my god, it's going to go in this route. Oh my god, it's going to go in this route. And I was like, oh, it didn't. Oh, that's that's pretty surprising. Again, that's surprising for me because sometimes I can pick apart a film and be like, oh, okay, it's going to go this route. It's going to go this route. But for once, I didn't feel like I knew where this film was going to go. I just love how this film made me sucked in and just made you like each and every one of these characters where you really were just sitting there like, okay, I really appreciate what these characters are going for. I care about each and every one of them and I want to see their journey through. It gives you that feeling that you're just a fly on the wall or in their situation living with them. And I, I love when the directors can actually bring you into those films. And that goes to the direction of this film directed brilliantly by Deborah Granick, another woman director who is very underlooked at. She did Winter's Bone with Jennifer Lawrence, which is, if you've never seen that film, it's it's very highly underrated. But again, I think this is another one of those films that's going to go underrated. I think this film is special in its own small ways, and I really appreciated watching this film. Again, not a film I'm probably ever going to watch again, but it's a film that I can recommend to movie lovers, film lovers, independent lovers, and just people who love film and love these simple stories. It's one of those films that you just watch, enjoy, and again, people are going to find it boring. I understand that. I'm not going to fault you if you do, but for me, this film hit me in a certain part of my heart where it just made me look at things differently and I, I appreciate when films actually hit me in that route. I did have one con for the film though, I will say the pacing was a little bit... I wanted the film to end, by the time it got to the end I was like okay just get to the ending, I, I, I want to see where these characters go and maybe I'm just... I, I knew it was... it's a very slow burn of a film. I wanted it to be a little bit faster. I think there were some scenes that you could have cut it up a bit because the film almost hits an hour and 50 minutes and I think it easily could have been taken to maybe 10, 15 minutes off, got it down to an hour and 30, hour and 35. And I think the film would have been almost perfect. That's my only complaint though. Besides that, I really enjoyed this film. I think Leave No Trace is a very special, sweet film that I hope a lot of you guys do check out because it is coming to many markets soon, so make sure to be looking out for that. I know in Phoenix, Arizona, it is coming to our theaters on the 29th, so make sure to look out for that, guys. But with all that said, I'm going to give Leave No Trace a B. And this is a very sweet and simple film that I really much enjoyed. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Have you guys heard of Leave No Trace? Have you not? I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. So make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are. Because of course, if you guys want to talk more movies, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also hit that like button. I do tons of movie reviews like this. And if you guys want to find me over on Twitter, Instagram, or Stardust, you guys can hit me over there and we can talk more movie and geeky culture. And the most important thing, you guys, is though, 
hit up Sam or Sean Films down below. At that website, you guys can get into advanced movie screens, movie news, and movie reviews. It's a very special website. It's very underrated, just like this film's going to be. And I hope you guys check it out. Guys, until next time, hope to see you soon. And of course, stay classy. <laughs>